Hello, welcome to my Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon machine. And we are going to teach you about how to make an arc dark red theme. We just follow the script that's online. We can now make our own accents in the arc theme of Horst. And you can take any color you want. In this case, I just made a red accent, as you can see here. And we're going to change and make it other color okay we want the color to fit with these icons here these icons are the result of the sardi icons and the sardi icons are now up to here so we are with 54 icons uh, because we run a lot of scripts and each time we run a different kind of coloring script and i kind of like this one so i would like to have this blue instead uh, of this red. So this will be the coloring for the accents in the arc theme. Okay, that's the idea. How should I do it? You go to two websites. You have the website arc theme colora, which is here. Let's go up. Arc theme colora. And we have the original from Horst being Horst 3180 arc theme. Both of them will be needed to change the colors because this is basically only scripting and these are the results of all the scripting in the past. So there will be always old, old folders, old runs. So meaning since August 22, Git, uh, the GitHub of course has changed, but not this. This is a screen and a frozen point in time, no fixes on from 22 August onwards. All right, got it. So this is rather old always. So if you want to have the latest version, latest bug fixes of GitHub, you should download them here and do the scripting. Let's make it happen. So some pictures, just go over it. And then we have to git clone it. The original version of host let's go to the home and desktop and let's do our job there open in terminal first of all sudo apt get install git and we need the password thank you eric and then we need to install the rest so git clone or just copy paste it so this text copy paste enter the result is we get the complete version of Horst here secondly we get our first of four scripts copy paste if we're not keen in making all these uh, scripts and we don't really want to bother with it no problem what you do is you go here inside themes and you copy paste these guys copy to the hidden folder hidden folder control h and there is themes or you make themes and you copy paste them here and then you just say in my case merge yes replace done so that's being replaced as we speak if you really want to run it actually then we have to do some things so the desktop has two folders this is the original from github these are the scripts if we want to really run the scripts we need to have them in the other folder so you're going to copy them in the folder of host paste okay now change color <laughs> yeah what color is it so i'm gonna gpic a program you can install sudo apt install gpic and that's how i made the red color here as you can see it's called frolly and then you move over the blue 
problem is the blue becomes a little bit lighter blue than a normal blue. So this icon here is just suited for that. It never changes color. This one does, it becomes lighter. So this one, that's the blue we want to have. We move over, we see that we keep the same color everywhere. Then you press spacebar. It's Havelock Blue. That's true because I remember the name. And done. This is the code we're going to need. So right mouse click, copy to the clipboard. This is the code I want. Bye bye. Change the color. We're gonna, not going to run internal. We're going to first display it. Because this is only to make sure that all letters are capital. Okay, so that's not a problem, that's not important. This is actually changing the blue color, the standard arc blue color, to the sun color. But we don't want the sun color, we want this color. We want the blue color, the Havelock blue. Save. You can change it if you want and type here I have a lot blue. That's the one we're gonna take. I like this. Save. What it's going to do, it's going to look in the folder common for a name, any name, which is a file, not a link, not a directory. And if it finds inside this old color, this one it's gonna replace it with this one that's it and it keeps doing that for every file and then we have script number two running okay let's close that and let's close that so that's first color we're gonna run this I'm gonna open it in a terminal I should I can double click it but it's always nice to see what happens? All colors in the folder common are still the original blue one from GitHub. Choose your color that will replace the blue one line or with tools like Jibby. It's done. So that's being said. It gives us advice. Just go and run number two. But let's take a look. What has happened? Um, for instance, let's go to this one. Doesn't doesn't matter which folder I go to, but let's open assets svg and assets svg has now this blue color that we like and everywhere also in cinnamon for instance light assets everywhere where there is a, a little color so this color and this color will be the same it's the same blue great all right number two Delete the assets. Why am I deleting the assets? Oops. Um, here. Why am I deleting assets? Where are assets? These are assets. This is the blue, a standard arc blue. But these are PNGs. So a PNG will never change color. So my little script for number one has no effect. Okay. So now I've written. A script to just delete all these PNGs which is here display I'm getting rid of all the assets the GTK 2 3 and the XF WM 4 all are being deleted and later all are being recreated so deleting it well let's let's do it like that always to enter done of course deleting is quickly then three making the assets making the assets is going to go to a specific folder and always running a script render assets render dark assets really navigating from folder to folder and running all of them okay and then if everything is done you can run script number four that's what it says so this is going to fill up these folders that we've now deleted okay running it again enter this is the time where I normally take a cup of coffee and I walk about because this is changing of making 
GTK to render assets. That's what it's doing at the moment. So this one, this one is being fill, filled up and let's wait for it to show something. Still everything is not visible, and I mean the color is not visual, but the blue color will pop up soon, around here. Here's the first blue color, the same blue color as the folder. And here are the rest. So this will be it will be going and going over all of this. Now it only depends on your CPU power. How much how fast is your machine? I'm gonna pause it and wait for the script to end. So the script uh, number three has ended, meaning all the assets have been rendered and SVGs have been exported from the assets SVG files and converted to the PNGs. Next up is installing the icon theme run script number four and then you can select them. They will be placed in user share themes selected with your team manager. Okay so number four is this one. What does it do? It's going to install it. This is it installing the theme two lines to actually say go and install it. Okay. Last one. Final installation. This is it. It's going to configure everything, compile everything, make and make install. And now it's going to put it in a folder. You know which one, but you can follow it up here user share themes arc so let's go and have a look what's what we produced so you go to your file system you go to user share and themes you can type it so you quickly more quick to the folder themes these three are the ones we produced uh, what I do then is copy them and I put them in my own team so Eric themes there is no overwriting no no they don't exist yet so this is um, my new version I have to rename it I'll quickly come and check how I'm I thought I named it polo but I'm quickly going to look for it if that's okay, voila, Polo is okay as naming. So I'm gonna name it Arc Polo, like this. I'm just gonna control C this. So that's one. Control V. And control V, oops, that's my mistake. Like this, enter. So they have a new name. We can actually already select them, but the proper thing to do is go inside it, index team, because of XFCE, we really should name them, otherwise it, it goes crazy, the program. So that's one. We did the darker polo. Now we're gonna look for the dark polo. I'm gonna do this too. That's that. And one more. The arc polo, this one. And then we have changed it all the way it should be named, it should be called. And now we can go and select it. So we have a new theme. I'll put them in the collection. The red theme will be gone and it should be the same blue as the folders and then I'll be satisfied. Arc Dark, I always go for the dark version, don't know why. So Arc Dark Polo, but there are two other versions you can try. 
Arc Dark Curse Polo, as you can see. And um, I want the Arc Dark Polo, here it is. And again, don't forget, we have also this version. Oops, where am I looking? Arc Dark Polo. So everything is Arc Dark Polo, which is great. The effect is that this blue is the same as that blue. And that the icon here, the, the full bar, cinnamon elements are also blue. This is one consistent theme. Okay, th that's how it's done. Um, I hope you can enjoy my little scripts and uh, amaze me with some beautiful screenshots.